Hi, it's Liz Blake from Making Political History Program and all sorts of political education. So I'm going to, the purpose of today is to give a simple visual representation of how the voting counting happens um, the, and how it's different between these House of Reps or House of Representatives and the Senate. Now, the House of Representatives, um, we call the lower house. Think of, of a house with ascending steps up to Parliament, okay, and that's as, uh, that's as far as that analogy goes. But just think of the lower house first because uh, they start legislation and then, of course, legislation has to be approved or, you know, passed through the Senate. So think of that as the further up the steps, if that's an easy way of remembering. So how does counting work for your votes work? Um, and how does a party win government? Okay, so first of all, in the House of Representatives, <clears throat> I have, I'm in my electorate. It's my local area that's been designated on a map. And it doesn't, it's not the same thing as suburbs, but it's a whole area and um, there's 151 of these spread all throughout Australia. And so that means that, that there is 151 places to be won. So here's my, here's my electorate, my, um, yeah, here's my electorate. Now, so that race is like a, think of it as a horse race. And there's a couple of uh, good, um, uh, good little, very short videos online about this that shows the horse race. Now, here is the finish, here's the finish line. And the finish line is 51% or more. So here's all the horses racing, okay? And uh, we know that because of the preferences that I, you, set ourselves. Um, sorry, that's the phone going there. Uh, because of the preferences, um, the last horse um, gets, uh, you know, gets eliminated on the first on the first count, and their vote, their preferences, their their next preferences. Uh, a spread to where they allocated them. And it goes on for that for the different preferences. And this is showed very, very well in Topher Field's Marbles video, the 18-minute one that is there online now. But so so as, as the race goes along, you know, um, the ho uh, the last horses get, uh, you know, eliminated and then and you get a couple of leaders or a few leaders and, that, and, and the leader can change. In fact, they often do change, probably almost invariably change. But anyway... Until, with all the preferences that have been spread along the way, the first loaded up horse, let's say, passes that finish point and they have got government. They've won government, okay? So that will be the next government and, um, yes, for, that, for the next term. Now, <clears throat> it is different with the Senate. For each time we have a federal election, we only re-vote half of the senators in. Um, it's 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 a really very wise way of governing a country if we if we're doing our preference if we're using our preference voting well. This two houses is very wise, and um, and and the Senate is built on it's about the states. Think Senate states, okay? And um, now I know this is very basic for people who know politics, but if for those of us who have not known politics for very long. Hopefully this will make it simple. But the counting for the Senate is very different. It's not a, it's not first past the post. It's not, okay? Um, it's a different kind of post. So I kind of tend to think of it more of like cricket teams, that there's only a certain amount of cricket teams that, are that amongst all the population in Australia, that there's only, a, there's only um, six cricket teams or six senators that can be so. Let's let's stick with cricket, okay? There's only six cricket teams for in for Victoria, okay? And there's six cricket teams for Tasmania, and so on. Now that's interesting because obviously Victoria and New South Wales have far far higher populations than Tasmania and Western Australia, for instance. And and so it's like, but but what happens is that to have this fairness in with the Senate where it's not according, where the state is not according to population, but it's according to just six cricket teams in the Senate, that's really fair because it means that the smaller states don't lose their say in Parliament. Now, that's really important in representation. So you've got like a, you know, a crossing of purposes, and, and you know, which is great because that healthy tension that, that tension is very, very important in government, 
a government um, so that you don't uh, get tyrants or tyrant parties um, or parties becoming tyrants, okay? So here we are. Let's say Victoria or New South Wales or Queensland, whatever, or Tasmania, we've got six cricket teams. So what happens is that with all the votes, all the votes, um, I'm going to use Victoria as a um, as an example, but if all the, you know, six, seven, or well, however many, it's not six or seven million votes, it's however many votes in Victoria, they're going to get divided up. They can only fill the six cricket teams because there's there's 12 cricket teams really in a, in, Victor, in every state, 12 senators, but there's only three re-voted or re-elected every election so that there's always, you know, there's continuity and there's change and then continuity and change, which is very, which is wise, okay? So this time we've got half the senators staying and half the senators leaving. Okay, so we, let's call them cricket teams again. Okay, so what happens is when all that, now there is preferential voting, this is very important, your preferences are very important, um, so, but, but, but through the, you know, first count, second count, third count, you know, um, there is the redistribution happening. But what happens is that liberals are only allowed, or any, any, any particular party are only allowed, they're only allowed to actually win two cricket teams. They're only allowed to populate two cricket teams. And so when, let's say, liberals go really, really well, okay, for instance, well, what do you do? Well, then when they're finished their, filling their cricket teams, they don't get any more. They can't have a third cricket team, okay? So they, they've got their two cricket teams there, uh, or it could be Labor, you know, got their two cricket teams, and let's say they uh, that Labor also get two cricket teams, okay? So two senators. So we've only got two Senate seats left. Now, the redistributing is happening because obviously, well, not obviously, but at least one of these major parties had some leftover population. And so those leftover population, and it's they're not leftovers, but um, le leftover from these full, they're called quotas, okay, um, uh, th they, they've got, there's two that can be filled. And so through the diff through the counting, you know, this the seventh counting, the sixth, seventh, eighth counting, et cetera, et cetera, um, they're going to be filled up. And what's really interesting to know is that um, it is possible, and it has happened in the last couple of elections, where the last cricket team actually can be out, is allocated, can be allocated, and they don't even have the population for a full for a full cricket team. So they might only have fifteen, and they. Now I'm showing my ignorance of cricket right up front. Let's say there's a team of 22 now, <laughs> and they might only have 15. Now, what, now why that jumped into my mind is because I know from being a child that there's 22 yards in a, in a cricket pitch. <laughs> now that's, that's showing my age <laughs> because when I started school, yards became metres. Um, anyway, that sort of thing. Um, so, so you've got a cricket team with however many there are in there. But there's, in, in actual fact, for the Senate, um, it's, it's, it's a, um, a one-seventh of the whole vote, the whole state's vote, okay, one -seventh. so But at, when it comes to that sixth one, they might not actually have a full population amount, but that one still wins it. Now, I'm going to tell you that the Greens have been putting their preferences very, very smart, putting their preferences so that they, fl and the Labor have been, uh, very smart about this the last a couple of elections. So they're putting their preference, directing their preferences um, uh, and influencing their voters, influencing their followers so that their followers do what they, they say and so that Labor and Green all flow so that the Greens fill up, that the Greens win that last one, but they've only got that much population. Now, this time with the minor parties really working together and independence, the freedom independence, that's now they're not all freedom independence, but the freedom independence and the freedom minor parties all working together, we can actually, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, Liberal, Labor and something else, 
we can win this. Now, this is really important in the Senate because it is a pivotal, it's a pivotal part in the legislation. And, and there's more to it than that. But I'm going to leave it at that now. I hope that helped um, explain a little bit the difference between House of Rep Representatives first past the pot <coughs> post um, and, and, and that race is carries the extra loading of the preferences being redistributed each time, hence the importance of your preferences, hence the importance of you going into pre-polling or polling, knowing exactly who you're going to vote for, okay, so that you don't get mesmerised at the last minute with glossy, glossy brochures telling you, oh, vote this way, vote this way. You know, it's like, no, I know what I'm doing. And so there was the there was the House of Representatives where I'm electing my uh, somebody for my local electorate, and uh, and they 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 are part of starting legislation, and we I am simplifying things. And there's the senators where there's only six in the whole of the state, whichever state you're in. But they're only um, uh, sorry, they're, yeah, there's only six this time. So there's twelve, but there's six being voted in uh, every elected this time. So I hope that helped clear up some uh clear up some uh understanding now where i would go from here i would watch tofa me tofa fields marbles video because that will help show you how to, how it's the redistrib the distribution happens from first second third etc counting and the other thing i would do would here's the big thing when all is said and done all this process you can get help with all this process by going to majorslast.com because you can put all, because the thing is, how do I put this into practice? Though the, putting this into practice is as easy as going to majorslast.com here, bang, 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 answering a couple of questions on the site based on your preferences, on your first preference in majors and minors, minors and majors, um, and and you can make up, it will make up for you your own personalised how to vote card. And you can still move them around a little bit. Um, as long as the majors are down there, and it's got two little sections, the majors always are last. You can order them how you like, and the minors are first. Um, uh, because that, the people who have put this together know the voting system very, very well. And this has been built to be fair for people who are walking away from Liberals and walking away from Labor Greens because they've seen the record. Stark, stark record. It's hurt. It's hurting our pockets. It's hurting our families. We've had segregated weddings. We've had all sorts of awful things where we've been really hurt. And and so we we know the track record of what has been. Um, but to and to make a change in the way voting flows, the preferences flow, that tool is the safest, uh, most robust way that you can make your choices uh, without doing, without being a um a maths whiz and maybe and actually being a gambler in a way because you don't know how everyone else is going to vote. So that's like it's actually really complex in the back end um, of in the counting part of voting, you know, the actual people doing the counting um, <clears throat> but uh, and predicting. It's very complex. You know, in fact, nobody can really predict. Um, but at this front end, we can manage this really well with the majorslast.com. We call it the put majors last tool and basically myself everywhere. I'm going to just, I'm going to say, put majors last. So when I pay at the um, checkout, get my you know, credit card out or something, and it's kind of like, you know, credit card out, it's like, majors last. I'm going to add that to um, all my phone calls and everything because put majors last. <laughs>